Pilots, it's easy if we need to go somewhere. We just hop in our car and take off. For others, it's not that simple. And that's why DRMAC is so important. Those letters stand for Denver Regional Mobility and Access Council. And with more, we're joined by Brian Allum and Susan Unger. Nice to see both Hi. of you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you. So, Brian, what are the three main areas of your program? Well, we like to focus on information, advocacy, and education uh, to those that need transportation resources in the Denver region. Why do you focus on those areas specifically? Well, because there's so many resources out there. A lot of times people just don't know where to start. Um, so we help inform and educate them about those things. And we also like to, to advocate for those that don't have a voice. Excellent. And what areas of Colorado do you serve? We're in nine counties, believe it or not, as a wow. small nonprofit. So yes, okay. we serve Boulder, Broomfield, um, Jefferson County, uh, Adams, Arapahoe, Denver, Clear Creek, and Gilpin. So we go all over the place. How does someone, maybe they're interested in your service, how do they know which one is the best for them? That's the good thing. We also have a transportation information and assistance line. So we can provide one-on-one -on -one consultations um, to people that uh, need transportation, and it will direct those resources um, to what they need instead of just giving them a list of 50 things to go and try. Good, good, good. The number to call right now if you're interested is 303-243-3113. 303-243-3113. Brian, you have an event coming up. Tell me about the details. Yeah, we do. Uh, every year we have an event. This is our third year now that we're doing this. We'd like to celebrate our volunteers and all the work that goes into the region. So we're having a breakfast um, on October 4th. Uh, so we encourage anybody that was, is interested to attend. Would be, we'd love to have them there. Uh, we're going to have the new executive director from the Colorado Department of Transportation uh, is going to be our keynote speaker, so we're looking forward to having him there as well. Should they just call that number to get the information and where to get tickets, yes, where yes. the they event's can, located? Yeah, they can call that number there. Okay. Uh, it's actually going to be hosted at the new Mile High United Way building. They've got oh, a nice. brand new facility, so they've uh, worked with us to have the event there. So, yeah, they can call our number to get the information. Okay, it's at the bottom of the screen. Again, it's 303-243-3113. Susan, tell me about your travel training program. Yes, um, I work for VM Mobility Services. We're a nonprofit up in Boulder County, and we have a um, travel instruction program that is basically got two components. We have five individuals who are travel instructors that can work with people individually to help them learn how to use the RTD public transit system, the buses and the light rail. And we also offer uh, group classes, kind of like a public transit orientation, and we also do group outings on public transit just so people can see like, oh, this is easy, yeah, this is fun, a lot of I options. should do this, that type of thing. Is there a fee? Well, there isn't a fee for our, our program um, for individuals that we, we don't serve. It's not available to everybody in the whole world, but um, we, it is available to people who have disabilities and older adults. And so we work with individuals who have physical disabilities, vision, hearing, um, cognitive, use mobility devices mm -hmm. like wheelchairs. So it's people with disabilities and older adults, people over 60. Those who are the people who can participate. Those, yeah, those are who That's we, the criteria. We can serve. And it, for them, it's free. All right, good. And what are the benefits to people learning how to use public transportation? What would you say to well, that? Well, in addition to the most obvious one, which is being able to get where they want to go, mm -hmm. um, it also provides people with spontaneity, a sense of independence. Um, a lot of people are isolated and when you can't get out it can affect your mental health as well as your physical health and for a lot of people learning to be able to use public transit provides them with a sense of accomplishment and and a sense of more confidence and so there's like independence a little bit right there's yeah. like the practical aspect of it but then there's also kind of an emotional component for a lot of the folks that we work with makes sense and Brian you continue to work towards something that can enhance all of this yeah, um, we're right now we're working on a technology project to try and connect all these different resources together and make it easier for providers to um, share trips, to better use the capacity that exists uh, rather than uh, spending more money on getting more vehicles. So that's a yeah. piece of it. Um, the other thing that we're really trying to work on is to get all these different funding sources together um, to really help them work together a little bit better, a little bit easier, um, help them talk to, get, talk to each other more um, to be able to provide more service because uh, funding is always a big issue. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's never increasing. It seems like we always need to do a whole lot more with less, and that's what we're hoping to do here in the region. Besides helping out with funding, are there any volunteer opportunities? We do. Um, uh, Dr. Mack is a very small operation. We're a staff, a whole staff of two. Um, wow. So we, uh, we definitely would appreciate any help, and that's why we partner with agencies like VIA that have been fantastic. Uh, but people can also call uh, our information line if they're interested in volunteering with Dr. Mack.
Thank you for all the important information and all the hard work that you're both doing. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right, Denver Regional Mobility and Access Council, also known as DRMAC, provides mobility and access for all. If you're interested, here, call this number, 303-243-3113. You can also check out drmac-co.org. And to learn more about travel training, you can visit viacolorado.org or jot this number down to call, 303-447-2848.